everyone, Tim Schofield here from QBKing77.com doing a quick overview on the new developer preview with Android 5.0 Lollipop. As you can see here, just it's a developer preview, lets developers, app developers, etc. Um, install it and test their apps out on the potential operating system. So there will be future updates in the official build, which I believe is set to come out November third I'm gonna make an annotation on that date um, I can't remember if it's the third or another one anyways so I'm on my Nexus 5 uh, warning developer version now let's go ahead and talk about this, this this start screen actually so you'll see there's a lot more material design in this build um, let's go ahead and run through I also want you guys to take note of the different animations that do uh, occur while I run through this so I'm not gonna insert a, a sim not going to select a Wi-Fi network Keep going. I believe there's an option to restore uh, apps from previous devices as well. So it lets you know, oh hey, I want to install the apps from this device on this new device. So that's another new Lollipop feature. So uh, just kind of take note of that. So continuing on, gonna skip all this good stuff, hit next. So even when I press a button, I don't know if you guys noticed that an uh, example of an animation is just, just a little, uh, I guess, kind of water droplet like feature so here we go welcome screen got it I just installed it on my Nexus 5 so let's go to the app drawer so you'll see a new animation for that um, it just kind of has an, and it has a white background which is interesting I don't know if I really like a background there as opposed to something being see-through and you can just see your wallpaper so uh, a little bit different uh, let me go ahead and turn the brightness down so there should be a brightness bar uh, right here I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit so the camera can uh, there that looks a lot better actually so let's go through um, I mean like I said I just installed this so if we want to go ahead and go to the dialer um, here's that like I said animations check them out so you'll see very subtle animations I've been talking about these in my previous uh, videos talking about lollipop but um, that really makes the operating system uh, look great and you'll see it the, the dialer stays there depending on what screen you're on very cool. Continuing. <laughs> uh, you'll see they haven't ha added any of the updated apps yet. The messaging app right here is just the, this, I guess, stock messaging app, uh, which they've included actually in Android 5.0 Lollipop. They're going to have a messaging app for SMS and MMS, so it's not going to be just Hangouts anymore. There's an updated app icon as well, and I will, I guess, post a little app icon um, next to this video. So let's go ahead and open up our uh, drawer here. Um, as you can see, there some of the icons are updated for sure. Settings, icon calculator, contacts, all that stuff. Go to the clock application. Um, looks very similar to uh, the, the the clock application now, but as you can see, colorful and I guess more of that material design. Now running through, I'm going to go ahead and go to settings. So well, I guess we pull down the notification bar first. One finger pull down will show you your uh, I guess your notifications like so. Um, you can continue pull down and you have those quick widgets right here. So pull it all the way down or you can use two fingers and it will bring it down all the way. So you have to actually pull down twice with one finger to get to those settings. So pulling all the way down doesn't bring them up. If you use two fingers, pulling it down will. So two, uh, two flicks and you can bring uh, this up. You'll see there's now a flashlight icon, which does work. Turn that off. Location, there's a cast screen icon right there. Bluetooth, auto rotate, airplane mode, and emergency calls. Um, it's letting me know emergency calls only because I don't have a SIM card in there. Uh, you'll see a little uh, icon up here. I believe if I signed into my Google account, it would let me know which account I am signed into. Battery percentage is great. I'm so glad that they added that, which was uh, much needed. Um, letting you know that you can just quickly check battery percentage up there as opposed to it being um, in these uh, quick, quick widgets right there. So let's go to settings. Like I said, uh, going through, um, w when I backed out of the settings, it went down. When I went into the settings, it comes up from the bottom. So there's that. Um, oh, look at that. Um, so you'll see, depending on where your finger is on the screen, the wave kind of follows it. A little bit different. Doesn't look too bad. Material design, adding a lot of white, uh, which is very interesting. Let's go ahead and continue. Um, Nothing out of the ordinary with the settings. They didn't really change too much. I didn't, at least I didn't notice anything much different. However, go, let's go to about phone and you will see it should say 5.0 now. 
Um, I don't see Lollipop anymore, but there is now, now that it's official Android 5.0 Lollipop, they have added their, I guess, their hidden screen, their Easter egg screen. When you quickly tap on Android version, it comes up. So here we go, Lollipop. Continue on, not tapping it. It changes the color, yellow and green and, was that brown? So tap it, press and hold, and it brings up this, I guess like, I think it's like a Flappy Bird kind of thing. It's a Flappy Bird game, which is hilarious that they uh, they did that. So you'll see, tap on the screen. As you can see, I am awful at it, but um, that's awesome. So they got a little mini game, a little hidden game in their screen. Um, I might actually spend some time and try and do decent at this uh, eventually because I'm really embarrassing myself right now. I can't even get one. This is so bad. But yeah, you'll see different uh, different color lollipops, different backgrounds, uh, etc. I'm going to get one. I'm going to do this till I get one. I'm sorry, guys. Yes! Okay. Sorry. I was just super frustrated, but there we go. Now you know that I can actually get one. Sorry about that. <laughs> So yeah, there's that, and now uh, that's pretty much it. I really don't see anything else I really want to cover. I guess here's the recent running app screen. Different, obviously updated. I like this a lot more. It looks great. It's just a lot cleaner. Um, you can still go into the Google search, which, which is really nice. They've also, they always want to add OK Google everywhere. Um, I can say OK Google. And it comes up. I don't have a data connection, so it's not going to do anything. I'm not even going to. I'm not even going to attempt to do that. We can go to the camera application as well. I believe um, they haven't updated the camera application. Now they haven't. So it's still uh, the standard one. I believe they're supposed to update it once Lollipop comes out, which is exciting and expect to see that soon. But anyways, yeah, that's pretty much it. All I wanted to uh, show you guys is a quick overview of the. Developer preview, like I said, developer preview, so it might have bugs, etc. Keep that in mind if you are on a Nexus 5 and you want to flash it. Uh, and that's it. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Plus. All links will be in the description of the video below. Expect a full review once it's official. As soon as it's official, I will do a full review video, so be sure to subscribe to that. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.